Welcome to Uzbekistan's Economic Forum 2021, where we are joined by Cindy Malvicini. She is Country Director for Uzbekistan at the Asian Development Bank, ADB. Cindy, thank you for joining us. Welcome. Thank you. So how big, how vast is the task facing the Uzbek government as it tries to liberalize its economy? What's been achieved and what remains to be done? Well, the task is ambitious, it is large, but it's appropriate. They need to reform um, uh, the way in which they've been doing business in general, reduce the state's control of the economy, change the state into an enabler, build and attract private sector um, to invest in the country. Each state-owned enterprise has been so old school in the way in which they think about doing their business. And they think nothing in terms of um, using the state budget for their operations. So building them to, uh, moving them to proper accounting systems, toward financial sustainability, corporate reforms, training them into being professional entities that are service delivery and financially sustainable has been one of the chief goals. ADB has been very pleased to support that and we're actually very impressed with the progress that has been done so far. Reforming is great, but it can have a cost for society. That's something you're probably wary of. So what should the government watch out for? So inclusive growth, you, you hear that term, but it really means that you have to be looking at the social and economic disparities between urban and rural, rich and poor, the haves and the have-nots. If you look at Tashkent, you might think that this is a very wealthy society, but in general, people are not um, paid good wages. They, there is very variable living, living styles. As in any developing country, um, an emerging economy, you're going to possibly see the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Inflation has been high and the, the government has been uh, very conscious of trying to control that. So the cost of the reforms needs to be very much um, with the lens of how can we make sure that the vulnerable, that those who need government assistance, it's appropriately targeted to them, that they're not left behind in the reforms. And more importantly, I'd say that uh, they need to continue to, on the track of listening to civil society voice. They can learn a lot from their people. They have. It is a very learning government. Um, the government of Uzbekistan is. So it's very, very good, but communication is, is very important. Communicating more will be necessary at the next stage of the reform process. So how do you assist them in making sure that they can deliver the vision they have for the country? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, it, because they try to do everything all at once, it is quite a challenge. We help them to sequence the steps, to break down what their aspirations, how to, how to realize their aspirations. Um, so we give a lot of advisory support. They ask us for uh, best practice, international practice. What did it, how did it work in this country and that country? And then we, we help them sequence the steps that they need to do uh, to realize their goal. What I can say about the government of Uzbekistan is that they have, this government under His Excellency President Mirziyoyev, they listen to international advice very keenly. And that has been, um, we've been very fortunate to then be able to be very effective in our partnership because, because we listen to each other very well. And finally, being here in Tashkent for the country's first economic forum, how significant is it? Well, this is very significant because it's looking back, but more importantly, it's looking forward. Uh, and because the way that the forum has been operating, where they're not looking for presentations, long speeches, this is a beauty. I've never seen this actually done, so it's been very nice. Um, they are actually looking for recommendations. And I've heard directly from the most senior leadership that they're taking note of each of these recommendations so that they will follow up on them. And because we're here and we can remind them, we're very confident that they'll, they'll use the advice that they've been given here at this forum. Fantastic. Cindy Malvicini, thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.